guys today's video I'm going to share with you my five plants to uh, light low light tolerant and hard to kill plants so my tip top five is the peace lily This one is three months old since I bought this one during lockdown and there's a lot of new leaves. The flower is already gone and I water this twice a week or just when I check the soil when it's still wet no need for water so when it's dry that's the time I only water her this lily and very good I don't have any problem on this one and look at the the baby leaves they're huge one two three and four there's another one there and this look happy on that corner no need for direct sunlight because it will get burnt on the sides so that's the best uh, plans for low light area of your house and uh, fourth plant I would say is this English ivy this one I also bought this one three months ago and they are look it's a new baby leaves there's a new baby leaves look so meaning she's happy on this corner and it's not yet repotted since I bought this one and at same on other plants just do that <laughs> do that when I when I check the soil and so it's a bit dry so it's need water so I'm watering it later but still this one is uh, drought tolerable so I'm not worried about this one even if it is quite dry it's not really too dry still quite moist so it's fine she's still fine and look at that so gorgeous <laughs> she's you can see that the plants is happy when giving a new baby leaves it's pretty This is also a English ivy plant and this one is just one month old. I bought this one just on the local garden shop and it's really beautiful. I never water this one since I bought it because it's still moist water and I get this bee planter just the local store is it nice baby you like it 
Yet? Yet na? Oh, don't touch na yan. My trap yet, the plants. My third uh, low light plant and hard to kill is this Camilla. It look like a neon or neon green dish on the middle and it's this is my first plant i ever bought since lockdown and this one is uh, how many months i bought this in january and they yeah, look good it's really beautiful and how many babies they have here this one one two three it's still growing. Look. See? This is a lot of baby. Baby leaves. And there is no sign of uh, dryness. This one is been there before if, ever since that I bought this plant. So I'm very happy of this one, Camila. And I water this also same as the other plant twice a week or until when the soil is dry. This one, a little moist. So when I water, it just be a moist or too dry. I did not water the plants if it is so uh, wet because it's the cost of rooting on the roots and look at that and when I saw some yellow leaves I already cut it out as soon as I found them so it will not stress the other leaves it's on the corner of my house and there is no direct sunlight so she is happy. Yeah, this is the Camila. My second plant that it's a uh, low light tolerable and hard to kill one is this Potos. This one. And I just bought this one also January before the uh, during the lockdown and I survived this one is a survivor plant because I rescued it from the garden shop where it's going to close and look at the growth look at the growth of this one so much and there's no much light in this corner in the window but she is happy here look at the added added leaves it was just here and then this additional three and this one look so th this one is covered by the curtain in the window but still growing I just bought this one this hanging uh, macrame planter is just new and I never yes yeah I'm <laughs> sorry I never repotted this plant ever since I bought I just added some soil yeah. and look so happy I'm happy on this corner without direct sunlight and sometimes it's very dark in this corner so this is recommended for a space without sunlight and as, as same like on other plants this one is hard to kill I can say it's hard to kill plants because it just don't worry about the watering I water this one once a week 
so it's also tolerable when drought tolerable even it's the soil is very dry it's you don't need to worry about it but look at that plant it's so happy and healthy growing and perfect for window So my top one on this video is I'm still cannot finally choose with, between the Monstera and the Sun Siberia snake plant or the uh, no like like tolerant plant and hard to kill one because they are both have a same characteristic of that plant. Sun Siberia is uh, really drought and easy to care. You don't need to water them every day or you can just forget it. Uh, sometimes I water this once every uh, twice a month this one this one is my uh first ever plant here i bought this one last december and still good i get some cuttings here for my propagation this two uh, this three it's already three one because it's too tall for adding this other three other uh, plants so this is really the best plant if you want to have some uh, in your very darkest part of your house no need to worry for the sunlight also and this monstera i bought this one just i pour leaves this one one two three four still here this is the original plant and they're still growing in the corner in this corner yes mm, i'm a baby too look i'm having it <laughs> yes one moment and they are still growing look they are four feet now taller than me and look at the plant the leaves they are happy and this is in the corner of my house and the, it's a dark it's a dark side of the door but sometimes it will hit by the sunlight so they are happy they are happy in the corner so it's your choice what is your number one plans for uh, article plants the sun siberia or the monstera please tell me in the comment below Thank you for watching this video guys so please don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see each other again next video thank you for watching bye bye